Hey guys, this time I'm going to do a little video on gathering and some of the techniques and, and best practices around that. Uh, some of these things will be a little bit confusing because the game operates differently on when the buffs will apply and when they won't, so I, and when they don't. So I'm going to try to go through this uh, slowly, but uh, keep it concise. Um, let's go through some of the main things that we need to do to make our gathering faster. Um, obviously, it's very, very important to, to buff these things. We know that uh, you can finish your advancement tile, but just using your gathering, your gatherers uh, more effectively can really increase the amount of RSS that you can bring in in a day. Um, especially with the new gear updates, we're going to go through some of those things too. Um, first things first, always make sure before you send your gatherers out um, that you're getting your uh, increases. These should be pretty easy to get, uh, collect if you're checking for them. Um, I think you can get them in the black market and I think you can also get them through like the Viking events and stuff like that. Um, that has to be on before you put something in the alliance tile, but it will always affect anything that's already out gathering. So if you notice your gatherers are already out and you add, and you turn that on, it will actually speed up all of your gatherers except for the alliance tile. So there's the alliance tile and there's world tiles. And there's a big difference between the two. Um, the alliance tile, you want to have the fastest gear possible on because the actual gathering bonus on the new gear does not work. The only gathering bonus that works is the one that you get in the uh, um, alliance uh, buffs, and it also uh, comes from your Jin Deox. Um, but this one is uh, really your best tile for get gathering RSS because you can just leave it in there for so long. As you can see, I've got some uh, gatherers in there right now. I still have almost 11 hours left um, on my gather, and it's been there for almost 60% uh, of the time. Uh, so I can pull out in a day and a half, you know, 50, 60 million RSS just from that. And you can just set it and forget it. It's one of the best features actually of, uh, of gathering is to be able to set it and forget it. Let's take a look at the generals. We now know this is meant to be a supplement to the, uh, the gathering sheet that we, uh, I think, uh, Yas posted for us. Uh, you can find that in our line chat. This is the way that I gear my Jindioc. I take my best Jindioc, the fastest one for the Alliance tile. And uh, the weapon is always the fastest piece. You can see that gives you a lumbering speed boost. And then you have your pants, your chest. Uh, now, with the gathering set, you actually get a gathering speed boost if you have two of the dragon pieces. But also two of the champion's gear will also work if you don't have that. Um, you'll notice I have the helmet on. Normally the helmet won't matter at all, um, but uh, it actually has, I have a little refine on here for lumber, so every little bit helps. Keep in mind you're going to have it in, a in there for a long time, so all of these percentage speeds will compile a lot. So you really want to try to set up something where you can get it in there. Once it's in there, you can actually remove the gear. Um, say, for example, if you're using these pants for one of your, your ralliers, you can do that and take that off, put it right back on your rallier. Same thing with the dragon ring. I took this off one of the bay bars, I put it in the tile, and then when it comes out of the tile, I just take it off, put it back on the bay bars. For my standard gatherers, I actually prefer the champion set. It's not going to be as fast, but these four pieces here, they actually add up, uh, two of them will add up to a 10% uh, gathering speed, but then you also get an extra 10% resources assuming that uh, you have all four. And then all I do is I would add on um, the weapon. So you, you have the four different weapons for each one, um, and then you can add that on. You get your extra bonus there of speed, as opposed to using the three pieces. Because quite frankly, it's a pain in the butt to change around all three all the time. Um, if you are doing that, and you're using your gatherer bonus and using all three pieces and using the two dragon pieces, uh, and really trying to crank out tiles really quickly. You can do that, um, but you do have to change around a lot each time. And uh, I don't leave my, my gear on my Jindioc. As long as the gear is on Jindioc, when she goes into the tile, you can remove it afterwards and you still get the speed buffs. However, and this is why it's confusing, the gathering buff has to be on when she comes out of the tile. So really, I just made four sets of these or five sets of these 
so that I can just have that on all the time. And then all I have to do is switch the weapon. Um, in fact, the weapon can go on as long as it goes in before. So as long as that um, it goes into the tile before that weapon's on. Um, the other thing to make sure that you're using effectively is your crystals or your, your monarch gear. These crystals here will boost your production. So you want to keep on those most of the time and you want to keep it on one that ha you have the most fields for. The other uh, is going to be all of your gathering bonuses. Now this you don't have to put, if you send your Jin Dionk out, you can then put the gear on while you're waiting for it to get to the tile and you can also switch this over. So for example, I don't have it on right now, but if I were to send a gatherer out, occupy, I would switch over to the selected Jin Dionk. Which one did I have the axe on? Not that one. And by the way, you want five of these. Keep searching until you get them. You're going to get, oh, it was number two, wasn't it? This one right here. Yeah, so this is the one that I put the axe on. Select. Um, you can see I've got enough uh, troop load there to cover the tile pretty easily. And um, notice it's one hour and 50 minutes to clear the tile. When I hit March and I switch this, I'm going to let this get into the tile. I got our nice slow motors on, so we have to wait a little bit longer. And you're going to see that we actually get a little bit of a faster speed once again, because it was one one hour and 50, 50 minutes, right? Now it's one hour and 45 minutes. So you get that extra bonus. Um, the reason that I like that gathering buff in the world tiles for the extra bonus is that uh, now you're going to get a, an extra 700 um, K out of the tile. That's the same as a as a speed buff, but if you were to use the gear, you'd get a better speed buff. It would come back much faster and it would be worth more than the 700 K. The problem is, is that when you're sending to world tiles, usually they come back and you're not paying attention to the game. So you're going to waste that time before you send it out again. It's even in your marching your speed to get to the tile. It's you're finding another tile. You're going to lose that right back. So when you're talking about speed on the Alliance tile, that makes sense because you're going to have that in there for a very long time. All of that speed is going to add up. But for the tiles, they're limited. So put the gathering buff on, just leave those pieces on. It's cheap to make them. And then all you have to do is switch around that one piece. Now that I've got that, uh, that Jindiok in there, I'm going to just go down back into my generals. I'm going to find the piece and remove it. And you can see... I still have the buff. It didn't, uh, it didn't reduce it. So now I can use it on another wood tile if I need to. So getting that habit is going to make you a lot more. But one other thing, uh, we were talking a little about refining the other day. You can also refine these pieces. Don't go crazy on them. You can see I hit enough times to get at least one um, lumber gathering speed. Quite frankly, it's really not that worth it to spend many of your refined stones or definitely gems on, on getting too many of these, maybe a couple, um, especially if you coin. But if you don't, you'll want to save those um, those gems for other refines. Um, when you're talking about the pants, uh, you can get a, a bat gathering speed there. You can also get a gathering speed bonus on your helmet. On your chest and on your boots, you can get march speed, and you can also get troop load. So I tend to do a couple refines on those just to see if I can get a couple troop load bonuses on them. Um, that way you can use less troops to get there. Just a convenience thing. And I hope that helps. Let me know if you have any further questions.